Hello and welcome to part 4 of this web development series. In this part we're going to be creating PHP scripts to connect to the database so that we can later go and fetch data from the database to insert into our HTML. Okay, so let's go create a new PHP script. So create new PHP file and we're just going to be calling it config PHP. Okay, so all PHP code goes inside angle brackets question mark PHP and so your PHP code will go inside here and then it will end with question mark angle brackets and all your PHP code goes inside here. Okay, so this config.php will contain the settings to log into the database. So it's just a bunch of variables. So variables in PHP use dollar signs. So we'll go dollar sign username equals and then our username for our user. So we stored it in a text file earlier. So it's phone underscore make underscore user and we'll just store it there. Okay. Inside double quotes because it's a string. Then another variable password equals and let's just go and copy and paste this password here into our config.php then host and this is going to be localhost because it's stored on the same server basically computer and then finally the database name which is if I'm not mistaken phone underscore make underscore model underscore tutorial let's just quickly check if we check phone uh, yes it is okay cool and then just remember your semicolons and that's our config.php now we need to create a script to actually take that information and connect to the database so let's create another file call it create another php file call it opendb.php so it's going to open a connection to the database. So remember your angle bracket question mark PHP and your closing question mark and angle brackets. And then inside here we need to we need to we've created a config.php and we need to use it now. So we'll use the we'll use require. So require space quotes at config PHP and that's just the part of the file we want to use. Okay, so now that file is here. It's part of this file. So now we can use all the variables that we defined in there in here. So we need to open a connection to the database and this connection will be stored to a variable. We'll assign it to a variable so that we can use it later to query the database. So let's go dollar sign con we'll just call it con equals mysqle remember the e mysqle is the new mysql so not mysql mysqle with an i at the end underscore connect and then open brackets we'll have our host in our host variable that we define in config.php we'll also have our username variable which we also defined there and also lastly our password variable just like that and then go outside the brackets and then go or die open brackets quotes could not connect and what that all die means is that if it can't connect to the database it will print that so that we know it can't connect now let's go mysqle underscore select db okay underscore db and what this will do is we basically need to select the database so we've established a connection to the server that has our database that we want to use on it we just need to tell the server which database we want to use so we go dollar sign con because we need to provide our connection and then we go database because that's a variable that we defined earlier with the database name okay and that's basically all we need to do to open the database now also when you use something you always have to put it away so in this case we always have to close our connection 
So create a new PHP file and call it call it close db .php like so. Remember your your brackets and inside it's very simple. It's one line of code. It's simply MySQL Lee. Always remember Lee. Close and then the connection we want to close. So con like so. And that's it. That's all we need to connect to the database. To make sure that it works, we can open the opendb.php inside our web browser. So let's try that quickly. Okay, so when we open the PHP file, you should see nothing. That's good because it means it made the the connection was successful and it's now connected to the database ready for us to query it. So that's all for this part. Um, in the next part, we'll populate the database, we'll create the tables and populate it with information. And so I'll see you in the next part.